And we are live. Hey everyone, my name is Prince and welcome back to another stream on the trail. That's the trail. Frontier Challenge, if you want to be specific. Hello, Marathon. I apologize, uh, I apologize everyone uh, for being, uh, like, quite late. Um, I don't really have an excuse. Um, can only apologize, but we're here now, gonna play the trail, we're back. Um, what are we currently doing? Got 9,300 chits, I bought that upgrade last time that makes the boats cheaper, so I think we have enough for the next ferry. Yes, we yeah, we, we, we definitely do have enough. Right. So today, we're going into Ice Kingdom. I am not looking forward to this, it must be said. I'm curious, is there a... There's not a skill or anything that makes you, like, more resistant to the elements. Is, it, is there? Like, because there's an upgrade for speed and an upgrade for energy, but... Doesn't look like there's much else. Right. Okay, I'm not looking forward to this. I'm just hoping to God that they actually give us some sort of food to help us deal with this like they did in previous um, areas, because this is, this is going to be bad. Okay. I thought that was a mammoth for a second. It's just it's just the boar. Right, um I don't think we've got no nothing to craft, nothing to sell really. I'm pretty sure we just did a trading time anyway. Oh god. I am not confident right now. It must be said. I am very nervous about um the path ahead. I'm also going to drag these bloody blackberries to the surface so I have easy access to them. How many roast... Okay, we still have quite a few roasted chestnuts. Probably not as many as I'd like. But a decent few. And like I said, hopefully it's going to give us some, uh, some food for dealing with this anyway. Let's hope so. Hey, Fitz. Right, uh, I'm not going to do the training time yet. Oh yeah, I did. It looks really good, Fitz. Greetings, traveler. I'm the ferryman. This here is my river. Every river in the new world is your river, you piece of shit. I could have saved so many chits if I'd have bought that upgrade sooner. I am so gutted that I forgot about it. That's on me. I guarantee you we would have been so much further had I bought that upgrade sooner. Oh, God. Well, there's no point using any cold items before getting to this, uh, this one. <laughs> Very far behind you, yeah. <laughs> also, did you guys see who was there? Because uh, we started the stream um, at, like, the first campsite where we were selling stuff. Did you see who was also there? The fucking guide was there. Haha, <laughs> stole the meat. Right. Um, I don't really think there's any point us doing a trading time. I... It, also makes me very nervous the fact that all of these guys have really good um really good fluffy gear and then there's me oh god i feel i feel very nervous about this okay beatrice don't forget my challenge unless you're too five afraid. beavers um 
I'm going to decline that because I feel like we're going to be a bit too busy trying to survive. Already pretty shit on hunger as it is. Luckily, we're off to a good start with blackberries. You know what, I think I'm going to get on to running because I, I don't trust this. I don't trust to be able to get through this without running. But they are giving us plenty of blackberries, so that is a, a very good sign. I'm going to start by eating the stuff that doesn't cure hunger because... Uh, it doesn't cure cold because... Oh yeah, they're giving us plenty. See, this doesn't even seem that cold at the minute. And we do still need to, you know, keep making chits, so we're gonna keep grabbing blocks of ice. <laughs> because apparently they, they sell for a decent amount. Alright, yeah, let's keep running. Ultra feathers, they're pretty good. My shoes do need replacing soon, but uh... Oh god! Oh wow, it's actually properly snowing. Oh! An egg! Do they... No, they don't cure... Oh, they do cure cold, okay. Right. So we've, we're finally seeing wild eggs. Oh, and there's, there's raw rabbit fur scraps. You haven't seen them in fucking years. Right, this one doesn't seem like too bad. So let's quickly run. Oh, another egg. I'm guessing the egg is probably going to be the food to help us cure cold exhaustion. And there's a there's a bloody iron nugget of it. We're getting earn more skill points by completing this challenge. I'm sure you have what it takes. Oh, I, th I had a heart attack then. I thought he was getting up. Um, yeah, let's let's go trading time. How how are boots doing? Point four. I'm just gonna replace them now. I can't be asked. We've we've used most of the durability of them anyway. Got to remember I've got some here as well. Honestly, I think I should take them out. I think having food in these pockets just sort of makes me forget that it's there. No, don't sell them. Clothing, here we go. Uh, sell this feather as well. Why can't we- why is an ice part of the thing we can sell in the clothing round? I mean, if you roll around in, like, snow, surely it's- surely it counts as clothing. <laughs> oh my god, the prices of some of these things are genuinely getting, like, ridiculous now. I might- There we go, you wait for it to become discounted. No, 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 not the... I wanted to grab that, and I couldn't. Ugh. I'm just getting the DS out, because you guys know... Um... You guys know that as part of this stream, we also shiny hunt. Need to get the uh, the counter back up. <laughs> We're currently on f 986 fungus encounters. Right, we can make some more clothes to sell, but we'll do that later. I thought that said um, cannibal. Then it says L L L Gannibal. How is he naked? How is he doing this naked? I don't understand. 
Don't forget my challenge, unless you're too afraid. Uh, yeah, I, I am afraid of this place, honestly. We're getting old resources. This is this is good because we'll be able to make um. We'll be able to make. Hold on, I do. Uh, there was one thing I forgot to check. Oh, don't do this to me now. Right, okay, this is a very long section of the trail, so I'm immediately going to get a sprint on. That's rare stuff. Hey, Luciano. Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah, we're getting old stuff now. Alright, we do need to eat some of these, though. This is definitely going to be a sprint one. Oh, egg. Oh, yeah, that does... That heals us good. That heals us good. Let's go. Right. With the eggs on our side, I feel more confident. <laughs> That's not something I ever thought I'd be saying. But these adventures that we go on, it uh, brings out weird shit. Oh god, that went down quickly. Come on, game. Give me more eggs. Be nice to me. It's a lovely looking environment. I just wish I didn't have to sprint through it and I can actually enjoy it a bit. Come on, give me an egg. Oh god. Oh god. Uh. Close. Yikety yikes. We do just have to keep running because there's no way. We, there is no physical way we would have. We would make it through all of this. Oh, egg. I see egg. Egg! Running, 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 running. I thought that was another egg. Bollocks. It's a good job we grinded for those chestnuts. It was definitely necessary. Egg! Oof. I think... I want to say it was just you, Marathon. Right. Don't stop. Roger, don't stop. Look at this place. Definitely a far cry and a lot harsher than anywhere we've been before. I need to keep my inventory in check because I cannot afford to have it waterfall in a place like this. Did I just see something floating up there? Oh god. Fucking hell. Oh, there's the next, uh, there's the next camp. Fucking run, 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 run. Oof! Holy moly, that was tough. Just gotta hope it gives me plenty of eggs. Alright, let's craft some stuff to sell. Oh, no. No, oh, god damn it. Oh, I used the best one anyway. God damn it, fur is like the only thing we don't have a good, like, good quality stuff for it. 
Oh, we can make another one. Let's go. Lots of money. And we can still make more of these. Let's go. Which one's better? Oh, it doesn't matter. Um. Fuck it. Alright, so that ought to fetch a decent price. Hopefully, if I'm gonna say, if there's people selling like half decent food, oh, there's only three of us, I might actually buy it. Not for a thousand chits, that's literally daylight robbery. Flour's not even food. Right, tools. Alright, General, here we go. Now we can make some money. We still have plenty of chestnuts left. Oh, shit. As you know, we can sell that in clothing. There we go. is 988 not shiny yeah we made 400 that's not bad right Beatrice what next please um please be a raccoon quest that's a good one god damn it why didn't I notice that before please be a raccoon one I could really do with some raccoons in this place then again I don't think any raccoons spawn here He's lot doing over there. He's waiting to freeze to death, probably. I would. Um, yeah. Don't what's the quest? Chop more trees. If you think I'm standing around chopping trees, you're v very much mistaken. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Straight off the bat. There we go. Oh, now we're lightning fast. Look at that. Right. Zoom, motherfucking zoom. Oh, God, look how fast he's going. We must be on the lookout for eggs. Oh, very good quality. Look at him go. Is that an egg? No. Come on, game. Throw me a fucking bone here. Bloody Nora. Not a single... Right, let me drag... Some chestnuts up to the surface so I can eat them a bit easily, a bit easier. Right. Fucking run. Oh, hold on. I thought I saw something to pick up there. At least we're not over encumbered anymore. Purely because of the juniper jam. Finally! God, we've gone through probably like half of that section of the trail without seeing a single food item. I 
I can only imagine. Oh, yes, there's the next, the next camp. Yes, we made it. Woo! Come on, we'll conquer the Ice Kingdom yet. Oh, my God. And we didn't use that much, um, that time, purely because of that Juniper Jam. That boost was real good, right. Okay, so it looks like the next bit is probably going to be the longest bit. And then... Right, what comes after... Ooh, what comes after the Ice Kingdom? It's the Ancient Forest. That sounds fun. And I'm really hoping that that's not cold. It'd be really nice if that wasn't cold. Really nice. Yeah, fucking vroom vroom, right. Um. So it looks like the neck, this bit is going to be the longest bit. So I think that's, that's definitely longer than this bit. It's going to be the longest bit of the Ice Kingdom. So, oh. Then again, I see this bit. Right, we may have to go back and farm some chestnuts for that, depending on what happens. And again, we don't really have anything to sell. Not really. Okay. Let's keep on keep- Actually, I'm gonna do trading time just in case someone's selling food, or if I can grab any food or resources for a good price. We're gonna have to go back and farm chits anyway, because there's no way that we're getting, uh, enough chits for the next fucking boat, um, in this desolate-ass place. No way in hell. Oh my god, it's actually having the- the- these clothes show up. So, is- is this the level of- like, clothing that we should have at this stage in the game? That's insane. General, again, we don't really have anything to sell. Oh, hold on, though. I'm gonna grab these, because we can make some bread. I'm gonna grab this. Okay. I'm glad I did this trading time. We made literally zero chits that time, but uh, we were able to make some bread. Food is more important than uh, making a hatchet at the minute because. We've still got a hatchet, and food is important. <laughs> right. Beatrice, what challenge have you got now that I'm not going to do? Earn more skill points by completing this challenge. All right, it's a passive sure challenge. What it takes. Beat Dale Cooper. More items in your pack. If I had to make a guess, I'd say I probably already have him beat. Yep, 81 to 30. Right, let's go. Go, go, go. See you later, Dale. I literally don't give a shit whether I beat you or not. I'm fucking out of here. God, fucking give us some... Some food items. Ah... This, this is the last big zoom that I knew was in the game. That ice circle. This is the shot that I saw from the trailer. This is how I knew this area was a thing. This is the last area that I knew, that I knew about before playing the game. Um, you know, apart from the ones I already went through. Now, our hat is looking a bit worse for wear, which does not fill me with confidence. I'll be honest. Oh, shit, 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 shit. That was close. God almighty. Give me some fucking food items. Throw me a bone, or more specifically, an egg. Fuck me. 
Again, I had this whole... Oh, there we go. Perfect timing. I had this whole discussion in the last stream, I'm pretty sure. I don't, like... It's really unclear what area of the... Of, you know... Oh, yeah, I should be eating the juniper jam, because then I can run faster. Um, I don't know sort of what level of gear they expect you to have at this stage of the game. Like, they make it really unclear. Oh, God. Jesus, I'm really fighting with it now. Oh, no, hat says it's gonna, it's gonna break soon. If our hat breaks, that's gonna be really bad. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <sighs> Fucking hell. Yeah, <laughs> oh my hell, yeah, big zoom. Oh, good rock there. Ah, oh, it's, it's all gonna go very, very wrong. Oh, egg, egg, egg. Why did I open up the inventory? Run, Roger! And this was the long one, isn't it? I literally said before he left, oh yeah, this is the longest part. Why, why couldn't I have checked my hat? Oh, there it is, there's the next camp! Run, Roger, you can make it! Oh, maybe you can't, actually, maybe you can't. Um, just in case. Oof. Oh, another egg. No, don't wait for the fucker. Oh, yeah, we beat him. Whoop, whoop. Go to the next camp. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. That was very anxiety-inducing. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God, and we made it with point one to go. Fuck. Right, how do I make another one? What are we missing? We're just missing beaver hide. I think we can make that. I really hope we have enough. I think we have enough. Another one, two, three. Yeah, we've got enough. We got this. We're good. <laughs> Roger be zooming. Yeah, it's like Roadrunner. Meep, meep. Oof. 9.90. Still not shiny. Alright, so let's make ourselves a new hat. A good quality new hat. Or as good a quality as we can make it. Which probably isn't very good. 6.7. Excuse me. Guess it'll do for now. Alright, again, don't really have much to sell. Um, we have 90 almanac points. Um, do we go for speed or do we go for health? That would have been helpful. I'll go for speed. Because I don't really think health is going to make that much of a difference. Plus three speed. Alright. Let's take a look at the map. Alright, the next one's a short one. I think we can make that pretty easily. After that, I might have to go back and... How many, how many chestnuts do we have left? Oh, first off, I'm going to equip this straight away. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one juniper jam left. All right. We've got the increased speed. 
Okay. We're going for it again. Don't forget my challenge. 40 different items. Way. Probably not going to have that. 22. Right, let's go. Big fucking zoom. I'm actually going to save the Juniper Jam now that we have enough speed to sprint by default. Oh, there's a raccoon. Oh, it's one of those ones that's just walking about and I got excited then. Is that an egg? Yes! Egg! Oh, fuck it, I'll use that straight away. What is it with these raccoons not doing anything? I need I need you guys to give me the resources. Why are you not letting me? And the chirpy music is back. That's actually, it's, it's not a, a bad joke to make in fairness, Fitz, now that you mention it. At least they're being good with eggs um, on this leg of the trail. Can we really not grab these guys? What's the point of having them here? It's just there to taunt us. It's like, oh yeah, remember how um, how you could usually use raccoons to uh, get resources? Yeah, you can't here. Yeah, any egg and Roger's immediately like... <clears throat> he just eats the egg whole. Shell and all. Confirmed. I wonder what Uncle Rufus says about eggs. I'd love to read the entry about eggs. Oh yeah, there's the next, uh, there's the next camp. Oh dear, we didn't. Come on, we can make it, we can make it. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna say I'd love to take a look at the uh, almanac entry for, um, oh for eggs, but considering we eat them whenever we get them. Alright, my gear is still looking pretty good. I think we can... I think we can... I, you know what? I think we might be able to... I think we might be able to make it to the... Uh, I think we'll be able to... That's 8,300, I think. I think we might be able to make it all the way to the ferry. I'll get to this one and then I'll see how um I'll see how we're doing in terms of um food and equipment. Need to plug in my DS charger. Why are you suddenly so fast? Upgrades, Mariel, upgrades. And the fact that I'm not carrying an entire mountain on my back because I basically can't afford to. Why is it right that, like, they design chargers to be, like, the wrong way round? I swear they're always, like, you have to, you have to turn them, you have to, like, turn the, the charger uh, cable to, like, an unnatural angle to get it to fit in the right way. Yeah, the thing is, the, the the problem with that is, Fitz, um, I discovered the new emulator, which uh, does stuff in higher quality, so if I wanted to do the post-game stuff, I'd want to do it on that one, because it's higher quality, and I don't have that save on that emulator. <laughs> God damn it, Mario. Right, we're gonna go we're gonna go for it. Don't have anything to sell really. Actually, we do have a few things to sell and every item counts. So I think we are gonna do a trading time. 
Oh wow, we have a we have a spare egg. Fucking since when? Since when did we have a spare egg? Am I just an idiot? Not between emulators, I don't think. That's not really how it works. Like, the save states are for that particular emulator, so they don't work between different ones. Ah, fuck it. Actually, no, I'm not gonna sell that. Clothing. Seven chits right there. Wonder if anyone's gonna buy it. We can back out now. Okay. Yeah, that did make a difference. Which emulator do I use? I use Melon DS. I used to use Desume or whatever it's called, but um, Melon DS has a. It's very easy to make it high graphics, and I don't think Desiree had that. And if it did, I didn't. Um, I couldn't find it. Right. Um, yes. Let's go. You gonna give us a quest? You're not gonna give us a quest, though, right? See ya, Beatrice. Pray that I don't freeze to death. Oh, another egg. So a great start. Let me briefly have a look at this. Um, excellent on toast. Did you know that a chef's tock has a hundred folds, each fold representing one of the ways to cook an egg? And if you don't know what a tock is, then you are certainly not the kind of person I want to read my almanac. Ah, Uncle Rufus! Don't be mean. <laughs> it's me, your nephew. <laughs> I've been looking for you for so fucking long. I have braved deserts and volcanoes and frozen wastelands in order to find you. You cannot be telling me after all of this that I am not the sort of person you want reading your almanac. A desolate place to sit. Sorry, I say that about like every cold place we visit. Alright, let's eat that other egg. Nyom. <laughs> Nyom. Roger's like fucking drifting. Right, let's eat a chestnut. Nice. Oh, I thought there was a blackberry then. And there's the next camp. We made it! Ah. Our shirt is gonna need replacing. Right. There's no way. I'm, uh... See you, Luciano. There's no way I'm doing the last stretch of this area with a nearly broken shirt. And I imagine that that'll probably apply to most of my stuff. Yep, yeah, my boots, my shirt, and the trousers. They all need replacing for this last trek. There's no way I'm doing that with nearly broken gear. We barely made it from there to there when we had a slightly broken... It wasn't, e it wasn't even slightly broken when we set off, I don't think. Right. That's going to be irritating then. What do we need? It's just the beaver hide again, isn't it? But we don't have enough. Don't have enough scraps, which is annoying because I've seen a bunch of scraps on our, our journeys through this area. We're going to have to trade for it then. I probably should have looked what we need for the other bits, to be honest, but I might skip this. 
I feel like we we need yeah we need oh god we need like all of this Pretty sure we need, uh, wait, discounted. Pretty sure we need silver, I'm pretty sure we need silver ingots for, uh, for some of this. Pretty sure we need one of another one of these as well. I'm starting to get it down to memory, this is good. Welcome, traveler. Thank you. You look like you need a hand with the next challenge. Yeah, how about you fly me to... How about you fly me to the end of the new world? But, like, you get around. Why don't you know who, like, where Uncle Rufus is? Speaking of which, I really, I really want to know what this dude's name is. I know I won't be able to, like, look it up. I'll, I'll have to, um... I know I'll have to, I'll have to like look back on uh, someone else's gameplay because I remember originally in the mobile version he did tell you his name. I want to say it's something like Teng Fei or something, but I could be completely wrong. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right, so we can make we can make all of them. Oh no! There we go. Uh, bam, 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 bam. This should be a good quality one, a decent quality one at least. 7.8, not bad. We can also make some bread. It's gonna be some good quality bread too. Right, what do we need for this? Okay, we're just missing beaver hide, then what about the other one? This one. Beaver hide and twine. So it's just beaver hide, okay. That's pretty good in fairness. It's the backpack I'm thinking of that needed, uh... Needed, like, silver ingots, isn't it? And we're... War right on the backpack, the backpack front for now. So let's, uh, let's cheese it and, uh, narwhal range. Yeah, let's cheese it and keep teleporting to the same one over and over again. And maybe try selling... Ooh. No, I'm gonna hold off. Oh, it would have been so good if that hadn't gone over the edge. Yes! Let's go. We can skip over the tools round, I think. Actually, I think we ought to sell some of this because uh, it's wearing us down. It's not gonna be worth very much, like, but. Oh, that was sneaky. Someone trying to shove it straight in the shredder, basically. All right, now we can make the uh, the pants. It's gonna be a pretty poor quality one, but 
Beggars can't be choosers in this frozen wasteland. So that's two. Now we're just missing two more beaver hide. And we're pretty good on terms of weight. We'll be able to run pretty fast. And I, like I said, I'm just hoping that this ancient forest won't be cold. The only thing that's going to be a problem here, if it's not cold, is food. We'll have to see. Alright. See, look how, how much speed we have. Alright, we just need two more beaver hide now. And look how little shit we have in our inventory. I don't think we've had this this little stuff in our inventory for fucking years. And it's definitely been a while. Come on, get someone give me a beaver hide. Come on. It's not really what I'm looking for. I'll take the scraps. So I can make them into um I can make them into a a fucking hide. Oh, but I think we're one short. Oh, come off it. Really? Yeah, we've got three. Oh, this is genuinely blasphemous. This do be right annoying, this. God, these people are duplicating. <laughs> Tell you what, though, if we manage to do this, like, because I I think it's become pretty clear that, um, that we are perhaps behind where we should be. But if that's the case, I will be proud if we manage to complete this game, despite that being the case. Because all these other people have, um... All these other people have, like, made it through this with fancy gear, and then there's Roger, like, going along basically with nothing but iron will to find Uncle Rufus. Like, come on, just one. Literally just one, one beaver hide sc Yes! Thank you, right. Let's craft this motherfucker. Oh yeah, we need to make another one. Oh no, we're, we're still missing one, aren't we? Oh, for fuck's sake! Uh. Skip food. Oh, hold on. Oh, someone grabbed the... I shouldn't have hesitated. Yes, there we go. Selling a fucking discounted egg. I'm gonna grab this as well, actually. Actually... Yeah, I'll... Yeah, I'll grab it. Right. Bam! Actually, no, we need to make one of these first. Bam, uh, bam, and bam. And then it is the boots we need to replace. Yep, right. Bam, and bam, bam, bam. Bam, and... Bam. Payow. 
6.9. You see, that's funny because 6.9 is very close to 69, which is actually a sex position. Don't know if any of you guys knew that. <laughs> Sometimes I do like to pretend that I'm funny. All right. Um, I, I will wait. Uh... <laughs> I will wait before replacing my gear. Um, simply because I want to make the most use out of it. But now we have a full set, basically. And we don't need to replace the hat. And the rucksack is fine, too. So, it's time to conquer the last step of the Ice Kingdom. I'm, I'm happy we were able to get through it so quickly. Gant like, granted, we did it through sprinting. Earn more skill points by completing this but I challenge. honestly don't think... Uh, sure you have what it takes. I honestly don't think I would have been able to do it if I wasn't sprinting. A race? Yeah, absolutely. We'll beat... Who are how? Who are... Who are who I see an egg. Give me that fucking egg. Give me that fucking egg. Give me that fucking egg. You have not seen speed like this before, my friend. <laughs> I am actually going to grab this. Oh, look at this. You're like... Walking along. Oh, look at Roger. He's actually running. He's actually running naturally. When was the last time he did this? We're like walking on an ice pathway, like an ice bridge. This is cool. No, not like Adventure Time. <laughs> Have this. It's a bit of beaver fur in the middle of the pissing ocean. This is a cool area. Again, like I just wish I kind of had time to walk slowly through it and enjoy it. As we've established, this is a very grindy game. If I if I wanted to, then I absolutely could like grind the fuck out of this so that uh oh there's just a tree in the water. Oh look, we can see under it. Alright, let's keep going. All of our gear is yellow, but it's not flashing yet, so we're not gonna replace it. Another egg, let's go. Eat that immediately. How are these, like, boars and stuff surviving here? Another egg, let's go. Eat that immediately. Another egg, let's go. Right. God, they're really being nice to us, probably because it's the last, uh, stage. Let's take a minute to chill and enjoy the, uh, the scenery. Oh, God! Here comes Hua Hua! Hua Hua the thing that- oh, <laughs> I tried to say, Hua Who the hell do you think you are, but I just fucked it up royally. No, <laughs> nothing like that, bitch. Right, my shirt is flashing. I'm gonna re equip it. Oh god, fucking hell. Scared the bejesus out of me. Don't do that game. I really hope we're not freezing while I'm doing this. Alright, let's keep going. There's a beaver there, a ball there. We're getting pretty cold. Let's dig into our uh, chestnut supply, shall we? Keep going, Roger. We're almost there. I'm sure of it. Aha! I was just about to say I could do with another egg. See, now we're full. Uh, we're full hunger, but the cold's still. Being a bitch.
Oh, that's a good one. Come on, where's the next bloody camp? Oh god, oh, uh, right, let me eat a chestnut. Equip our shoes. And then, put that. There we go. That better not be hua hua. It's not, okay. Right, keep going, Roger. Forward, my friend! We must find Uncle Rufus! Our jo oh, look at that! It's like a snowy tree! Our journey is reaching its end soon, and we must find him! Grab that. Come on, where's this next camp? They're really giving us a, a good amount of eggs. Oh, it's a shiny egg. I'll still eat it. <laughs> Come on, we're almost there. We must be, right? I know this was a long one, but... Uh, no, chestnut. I need cold exhaustion relief right now. I don't want to be wasting food. Ah, now our backpack is going to need replacing. Well, that's something we can deal with once we get to the next camp. Where is it? God, I, kn I knew this was a long section, but this is taking the piss a little bit. It's a good job I grinded for that many chestnuts. I can tell you that much. Oh no, it's a rock cell. I'll sell that though. Wish you could grab stuff while you were sprinting. Oh god. Oh god. Chestnut. Fuck me. Jesus. There! The next camp! We made it! Run for it, Roger! We might have to eat another chestnut. Oh yeah, we, we, we beat the race. Yes! We made it! Success! Ice Kingdom conquered! Ha-ha! We did it! Fantastic. Oh, man. Oh, man. Right. So. How much is the next... Okay, 8,000 isn't actually that bad. In fairness. We do need to start worrying about our backpack, though. Right. We don't really want to be wasting materials uh, making any of these, to be honest. Right. Well, let's do a trading time. See what resources we can get. And sell a bunch of the rock salts, anyway. On me. I love it how they're selling blackberries and juniper jam now. Like, those would have been useful a while ago. Got that. Hold on, why are we... Why are we selling crap shit? Why are we selling... Hold on, why are we selling crap shit? Why is the quality of the stuff we're selling suddenly gone down? What's going on? We're selling- All of a sudden people are selling like hatchets again. What? What's with this? I mean, I'll take the sticks, but... And I'll, I'll take- uh, I'll wait for it to get 
Yeah, mark down a little bit. And I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take this. Take this. I'll take this. I'll take this. That was weird. In the last, uh... In the last trading time, they were, like... They were selling fucking... They were saying that the silken robes and stuff were available for, like, to, to be sold. And I just had people selling, like, this shit. It's weird. Anyway. Um... Right, backpack. Okay, so we're missing the logs. Right, I think, uh, how about, oof, and the hat's gonna need a replacing too, but I think we can actually make one of those. Yep, we can, right. Fantastic! Uh, bam, 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 and bam. Just so we have that in reserve. And now, I think we're going to go back to the place where we were grinding chestnuts from. And keep going through there to grind some stuff. Right here. What's it saying? Where are the chestnuts? Right, we're going to go to Frosted Bluff. I'm convinced it moves around. But, realistically, it can't really do that. Resources spawn in the same place each time. Oh, excuse me. Right. Let's go. And we are going to chop down some trees now, uh, considering we need, uh... We need the logs. For sake. And it took two from us. Of course it did. And it didn't even give me a pissing log. Make a new hatchet. Should be a pretty good one. I shouldn't have done that, should I? I should have used the other one. Oh well. I still don't have the recipe that allows me to make, um... I still don't have the recipe that allows me to make... Birch logs, do I? I'm pretty sure that's a pretty... A surprisingly high, um... High-level almanac thing. One shot. Take two. One shot. There we go. Grabbing this stuff because, uh... We can make food and... All the stuff to sell with it. And it's only one shot for slingshot, so... We are getting close to being over-encumbered again, but... It doesn't really matter. Not anymore, we're good. Ah, trust not. That's what we need. The same as well grab all of these so we can make it into more silver ingots to sell. Oh god. And Roger's back to being over encumbered. I bet it was nice for a while not to have the entire weight of a mountain on your back, Roger, but we're back to the grind now. I'm really hoping that the ancient forest isn't going to be cold, although realistically, 
it wouldn't make very much sense for it to be cold. Or at least, it wouldn't make very much sense for it to be colder than, uh... What, what is this... What is this woman doing? I have no idea. Let's chop this down because it's an oak tree. Yep, there we go. Right. Yeah, you don't have to ask for it, it's just spit it out. Hands are cold. Ironically, given where we are. Grab the feather, because we need those. Oh, I see an opportunity for steelage here. Are you going to chop down this tree, love? Nope. Oh, yep. Steelage time. Thank you. drink. Ah. We're two away from a thousand encounters, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, a log. Give me this. I'll take the mushroom, too. Huh. <laughs> I said, that was not the comparison I was expecting, but you're not wrong, in fairness, Fitz. Grabbing this stuff, uh, because, uh, like I said, I've got a feeling that the ancient forest isn't going to be a cold area, but it's going to be an area like that, uh, that other forest where there's, like, literally no food whatsoever, so. Excuse me. Right, attempt uh, encounter number 1,000. One, 9.99 right now. This is the 1,000th fungus that I've seen. Is it going to be shiny? Will we get the best look in the world? No. 1,000 encounters. All of that. Gonna need to start being careful with our inventory though. It can start waterfalling at any second. Whoa. 1,000 encounters. No shiny. Not really surprising. You need a little Fucking hold up. We got a we got a donation. Surprise, surprise. From Marielle, the absolute legend. Give me a sec, I need to I need to check that out. I should have stream elements open at all times just so I can Don't make me log why are you making me log in? I'm always logged in. Ah. 
Hello based god, says Mariel with a $2.17 tip. Thank you so much, Mariel. Oh god, take a breath. Yes, thank you so much. As per usual, you are an absolute legend. And none of that is ever necessary, but I appreciate it so fucking much. Yes, Sasha, I'm gonna play season two. Why wouldn't I? I'm not. I'm not gonna finish season one and then just stop. But we haven't finished season one yet. Ah, oh, but thank you so much, Mariel. As per usual, you're a legend. I'll be taking all of that. Alright, next camp is right there, so we'll be able to do a, a fuck ton of crafting. No, don't, don't waterfall. Whew. Yeah, it's, it's hard to, it is hard to find the game because they, they don't sell it anymore. It's hard to find the game if you don't already own it, which I do, because I bought it when it came out. And played it when it came out, and recorded it when it came out on my other channel. Right, we can make some pretty darn decent shit. Well, let's use the best ones we have to make the one that's going to be used to make the uh, the backpack. What else do we need for the backpack? Can't bloody see. Are we missing a beaver hide? No, we're missing two. But I think we have enough. Yeah, we've got enough to, to make them. Yeah, see, this is great because, like, um... Now we're in the day and age where like no no one can get it. Makes it easier for me because you know people want to see it played again, and I've got both uh both games with all episodes. So bam, mountaineer bag. 12.7. Right. Um, what else can we make? Now we need to make stuff to sell. Uh, definitely this. The military pack. That sells for a decent amount. Bam. We can make another one. Let's go. And sell for a decent amount. Why not? Alright, there we go. Um, we can make a hide bag. I knew I'd kept this for a good reason. Really helping us uh, thin out our inventory here. Oh, nice, my owl. It, it always like amazes me, like the stuff people have me on in uh, on in the background. Uh, like, whilst... Let, let me start again. Um, it amazes me what people are doing whilst they have me on in the background. Like, the, the stuff you guys tell me you're doing is, is crazy. Um, right, I am gonna make... Yeah, I'm gonna make more chestnuts just in case. Um, it ends up being the ancient forest is a cold area. I don't think it will be. 
But just in case, let's use the worst quality sticks we have. We're going to have a lot of stuff to sell. And I'm also going to make another hatchet. Really thinning out our inventory here. And we can make another one. We are going to make... We are... I genuinely think I might struggle to sell everything uh, this time. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. But we are going to have a fuck ton to sell. And we can make another silver ingot. Uh, best quality ones we have. Because we want it to be worth stuff. Wait a minute, don't we have enough to make another? Oh, we do. Why not? Well, I wish you luck on that, Mariel. <sighs> it's a thousand and one encounters. And this is a thousand and two. Still no shiny. Ah. It's, uh, it's sad because the trail streams aren't going to be going on for that much longer. So I'm not going to be able to shiny hunt Fungus on stream anymore. I'm trying to think of that. Uh, yeah, there's not really another game that I could. There's not really another really another game. Actually, I think the replacement for um the replacement for the trail, I might be able to shiny hunt. It's not as idle as the trail is, but I think I could probably manage it. All right. Um. Okay, we have a lot to sell. We are going to make bank. In this next trading time. And. Have a look. Is it worth. No I don't think even at 1.5. It's going to be worth anything. So we may as well just wait. Um, and. Excuse me. Use the rest of its durability. We are going to need a new hat soon though. God this equipment never lasts that long does it. Oh we already made one. Uh, I'm an idiot. Okay, let's sell some shit. Clothing! Do we have anything clo- Okay, we do have this. Hello, Chloros. Welcome to the stream. Oh. Do I want any of this? Not really. I think all of this I can get in this section of the trail. Right, tools. Sell this. Sell this. Um, that's it, right. Food. Don't really have anything. What, is in suggest the game or what, Marathon? Sasha, you've already asked that in the Q&A. <laughs> which I need to get around to doing now. Right. Silver bars. Military packs. Backpacks. Hide bags, sorry. On oh, the vulture feathers as well. Oh my god, we're gonna win a trading time! All the way at this stage in the game. Holy crap. 1,108. That is a meaty bit of profit. And we get a reward! 10 almanac points, not bad. <laughs> right. And it's proper emptied out of inventory, so we can, uh, can do the big zoom without having to do the big zoom. 
Hey, you can suggest it, Marathon. I don't know, like... Again, I don't usually take requests for stream games. Um, unless those requests happen to fall in with what I, I'm planning. It, it is fun most of the time, Close, but it can also be incredibly infuriating. It's very unpolished in a lot of ways. Unfortunately. The developers aren't working on it anymore, so... Alright, let me hunt this, this dude. Wait for this. One shot, one shot. Bam! Alright. Ready for this, ready for this, ready for this. One shot, one shot. Bam! <laughs> Poor defenseless rabbits. But the game's the game in the trail. Oh yeah, I'm also going to convert this because for some fucking reason, silver ingots are very lightweight. Look at this, very lightweight. It's an ingot of metal. Why is it lightweight? That. Uh, no, not that. Give me that, give me this. Yeah, you can suggest it, Marathon. Again, I can't, uh, I can't guarantee that I'll, I'll take the suggestion, but. Right, the backpack's flashing. I'm gonna replace it now. There we go. Is that? Oh no, 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 no. Get, put that back on. It had 1.2 left. That would be a waste of durability if I didn't use all that. Because the thing is, I'm pretty sure it does the flashing based on like a percent. Like, if there's a certain percentage of durability left. Well, that beaver was clever. I cannot say I've... Oh, God. Oh, fuck off, game. Uh, I don't even think I want to try chopping this. I think someone chopped down that tree while I was pissing about with that one. I could have stolen it from them. And halibut. Let's have a look. Yeah, I don't think it really looks like the thing I'd probably be interested in. Looks interesting, though. Hmm. Maybe I'll do some further investigation. But I probably won't play it on stream. <sighs> Mainly because... Oh, steal, 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 steal. Mainly because I have a lot of games sort of in reserve now. Um... Like, to be streamed. Like, I've got a replacement for the trail, and then I've got a, an entire lineage of games to replace the game that's going to replace the trail. Um, like I said, uh, I've got a replacement... Uh, for the the trail and then after we finish the game that we're going to be playing after the trail I'm going to be playing the Master Chief collection games All the way through all the Halo games Because I've only played Reach And I, I definitely think uh, 
Oh, excuse me. Streaming my first time reaction to the Halo games to be really, really fun. Oh god, oh god, no, 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 no. We don't, we don't like waterfalling. But I thank you for the request nonetheless, Marathon. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, I do not envy... See, a lot of these guys are using... I I mean, I was going to say, I think that that's the same gear that I used when I was back here. I, say, cause I, didn't, I didn't swap gear sets for fucking ages. I upgraded and then... Oh god, he just ran, he just ran through the snow. I upgraded once from, like, the first set of gear to the second and then didn't fucking... Um, didn't fucking upgrade for like ages and ages. Oh god. Ugh. Ah. We've got a funny video coming out tomorrow. Reasonably short one. Another COD Zombies one because they're doing very, 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 very well for me. Um, it's actually just a portion of last week's, uh, stream turned into a video. Still pretty funny. Stack, there we go. The thing is, COD Zombies is sort of taking over my channel right now, and it sort of has to, because, like... I get that a lot of you obviously have come from a lot of different franchises, but in the, at the end of the day, the simple fact of the matter is that I have to do what gets the most views, and nothing, nothing has gotten more views than the COD Zombie stuff in the entirety of the history of my channel. Like, the eye color video got like 16k views in a week. No video I've ever made has ever uh, done that well before. But the thing is, if, like, until I get the channel to a stage where it starts making me decent money, if I have to just focus on COD Zombies, in all fairness, I'm happy to do that. Because the COD Zombies videos, they've been in a style, a, sort of a different style of editing than what I usually do. And I have actually been really enjoying making them. God damn it. Stop it. Ah, there's the next camp. Lovely. Yeah. And I have to support COD... If anything, um, COD Zombies sort of fits in, um, fits in with a lot of other stuff I'm doing. Not because it's underrated, like a lot of the other stuff I cover, but because it needs the support of its fans, because it's in such a terrible place right now. The COD Zombies that's being made nowadays is utter dog shit. So it needs the support of people who love it to, you know, show that we still prefer the old COD Zombies. I can't fucking see. No, that one. And this. No, we can't make that much. Let's 
here if uh, maybe we make some some beaver hide, whether we can make anything else. And there we go. Um, see, look at that. Our rucksack lasted the entire length of that part of the trail. Um, tracker, tracker shirt. Right, let's make one of these. Um, bam and, oh no, bam. I was doing some looking back and I, I think what I'm going to do, I was going to, I did change some thumbnails and some titles, but I think what I might do is delete some old COD Zombies videos and then re-upload them um, with refined thumbnails and everything. Um... So, because obviously I'm starting to grow an audience of COD Zombies players. I don't know why the blueprint disappears. I'm, yeah, I can still make more. Alright, let's see... 0.7, alright, I'm gonna replace it now. Right, uh, trading time, let's go. Tools. We'll skip this. Clothing. 400. Let's go. Oh, I got it got double as well. Good job we decided to make that one. General, right. Oh my god, two chits, that's pitiful. Uh bam bam bam. I had a mini heart attack then. I about uh Oh, it got discounted. Oh, you hate to see it. God damn it. But yeah, I think I'll... I'll... Because I've actually... My plan was to just redo the thumbnails. But I think if I just, like, re-upload them, it'd be better. Just delete them and re-upload them. Oh, we got first again. Let's go. Another ten almanac points. Welcome. Love to see it. Thank you very much. And cool very much. Right. Onwards. See, we really do not need to be picking up more of those. Or any more birch sticks at the minute. Red. Oh. Yeah, because COD is. Uh, COD Zombies is something that I'm very passionate about. It's one of. Because that's the thing, like. A lot of the stuff that I cover, where are they going? They're just going off into the fucking horizon. But yeah, a lot of the franchises I cover are usually like TV and like movie franchises. Um, but COD Zombies is a game franchise and, you know, this channel did start off as a gaming channel, so... 
it's good that I've I've got a franchise now that I can do like discussion videos about, like I would do for any of the other franchises I cover, and uh, that I can do gaming videos on. Oh, I clicked off. I just tried to turn around. Oh wow, I just got an email t telling me I've reached 450,000 views. Pog. <laughs> Big Pog. Okay, well, the, that that's the thing, Marathon. You can't really... Um, you can't really throw COD and COD zombies in together because they're, well, at least, at least not in the old days. I'd say you can now because Treyarch don't, like, are just dragging COD zombies in a direction that is just so utterly shit. But you can't really throw COD in with COD zombies because they're not the same. They're really not the same. Like, most, most, like, Call of Duties are, like, exactly the same. Like, the, they have slightly different plots, slightly diff different guns, and slightly different campaigns and stuff, but they are just basically all the same thing. COD Zombies is nothing like the rest of Call of Duty. So I always say you can't really just throw them in together because they don't they're not really the same thing. There's like entire different teams working on COD Zombies and it's basically an entirely different game. Okay, that was blasphemous. I stacked them, and it stacked into the one that was falling out of my fucking inventory. Oh, damn it, I wasn't close enough to steal. Yeah, like, the, the COD, most of the COD, like, campaign stories are pretty disinteresting, but, like, COD Zombies fits in in many ways with the sort of stuff that I usually covered, stuff about, like, fantasy and stuff, like, COD Zombies is a story that has fucking magic, like, literally magical stones and, like, eldritch monsters in. So, you know, I'd say I throw it in with most of the stuff I cover. So that's 1,006 resets. Do 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 do. Can't believe we're getting near the end of the trail now, though. I can't say for certain, obviously, but I'd say that um, for the the Ice Kingdom may have been the last sort of difficult leg of our journey, and we conquered it. I think if the trail devs were to ever come back to developing this game, I'm not saying they would. I really don't think they would. Because clearly if they abandoned it in this state, you know... I say in this state, like... It's not really... I keep going between saying this game is terrible and saying it's good. I was going to say that, like, when I get angry about it, you know, obviously it, it makes me say stuff I don't mean. But if anything, if anything, being angry usually makes you say stuff you do mean. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, like, 
There's so many parts of this game that are just so infuriating and stuff. Like, it doesn't... It's not very player-friendly a lot of the time, but it is a decent game. <laughs> yeah. Despite the fact that I am a raving lunatic, Mario, occasionally I do say stuff that is wise, as I've been told by a few people. It's moderate, yes. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good word uh, for it, Marathon. Oh, what the fuck? No! I didn't f- Oh, fuck off. I literally... I did not... You see, when I try to defend the game, it does stuff like that. Fuck's sake. Well, guess we're going down another length of the trail without another trading time. Honestly, Marielle, I'm excited to share some of the newer stuff I've been writing. Because in comparison to even the later chapters of Arthur V, like, this, the newer stuff I've been writing is way fucking better. So that's a thousand and six, I think. No, that's a thousand and seven. Considering we came, uh, considering we came back here, uh, to grind more chestnuts, we haven't been doing a very good job of it. We've been able to grind some, uh, we've been able to grind some, like, some resources. I will definitely, Marielle. I don't think we we've got a decent amount of like crappy food, but we need I need more I need to find more oak trees, that's what I need. You know what this area reminds me of? This area reminds me of that area that we had to go back and grind food for because there was literally none of it anywhere. But I know this is still this. It's not that area, obviously. That was way ahead, and this is we haven't gotten to another ferry yet, so it's clearly the same area. You see the okay. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest right now. I like in regards to Arthur Five and Arthur Returns and all my Arthur books. Oh. I've started to fear that I might actually like never finish them because like the inspiration and the the passion I have for that compared to, like, a bunch of the books that I'm writing now just isn't there anymore. And I think that's due to several reasons. One, due to the fact that I tried to... I almost tried to force myself to keep the inspiration for Arthur going back in the day when I was really... I mean, I'll always be passionate about it, but, like... I'm definitely not as into it as I was, obviously, back in the day. I think it's due to, one, um, P uh, me, like I said, trying to uh, constantly force myself to be inspired uh, to it, like, always um, 
like watching bits from the movies before um before writing or listening to the soundtrack before writing and i think it uh, eventually i guess i just my my arthur inspiration tanks ran just completely fucking dry and two and this is def i know for certain that this is part of the reason um my brain has been conditioned to view the Arthur franchise in a partly negative light. Reason being, people kept asking me over and over and over again to make content on it, even though I wasn't in a position to. Yeah, th okay. I will make a promise, no matter what, you will know how the story ends. Whether that is just, like, if I do a big live stream where I tell you guys what I had planned to write out for this for the story. I know it's not the same, and I know it would never be the same as actually reading the book. But one way or another, you guys will know the ending of Arthur 5. I promise you that. Whether I have to tell you guys how it happens, or whether I do end up finishing it. Again, like, I'm not, um, I'm not saying f absolutely for certain that I'll never go back to finishing it, because, you know, I have times where I've, I think I will, and I have times where I think I won't, so I can't promise one way or the other. I'm just saying that it's a possibility. But you guys don't need to worry, and I know it, it may be disappointing that you'll have to sort of listen to how the story's gonna transpire rather than, you know, read it for yourself. I promise you, you will see the rest of Arthur 5 in some way. It will happen. No, you don't need- you don't need to apologize, Mario, because, like, you, Marathon, a lot of people in the Arthur community have understood my position and have, you know, been respectful of it. They're just the, the few that haven't. And I've talked about this before, but negativity, especially as a YouTuber, or just with anything really, negativity always hits harder than positivity. Always. On YouTube, one negative comment will always outclass ten others. Yeah, like, and again, I've talked about this before, right? Now let's, let's craft some shit, considering it forced me to fucking skip over a, a trading time. The thing is, and I've talked about this before, um, like, me making Arthur content, I'd say, isn't as necessary as making content for other stuff. Like, I wrote Arthur 4, and I've partly written Arthur 5, and, you know, although it's not finished yet, you know, I've given you guys a good continuation when, before I started writing, there basically wasn't one. And now I'm basically doing that for other franchises. Like, I'm doing it for Max Steel, and I'm doing it for Dinosaur King. Those are the two primary ones I'm working on right now. Dinosaur King Awakening, which I'm very excited for. And Max Steel Season 4, Turbified. Both of which I'm very excited for. So, like, it's just a matter of me doing the same thing for other franchises that I have done for Arthur. And I, I am enjoying that. And obviously... Before, like, I was just writing Arthur stuff, so, you know, it gives me, you know, a nice break from writing Arthur stuff, not, I mean, in fairness, I say that like I've been writing Arthur stuff constantly, I haven't, but, um, yeah, exactly, Mal, and I'm very, I'm very honoured to hear that that's the case, but it's like, that's the thing, like, me building the community together has caused all of you to make your own stuff, like write your own books and start your own channels. So it's 
it's less of a pressure for me because it's not like I am the one and only. Sorry. It's not like I'm literally the only person providing you guys with content. You guys are making your own stuff. And it's, you know, it's good. So. Hey, Harvey. How you doing? Um. Alright. Alright, so we can make a sling. Um. I don't think we ought to waste that. We ought to make food, I think. Roasted chestnut, just in case. Nice. God, we're when we're, we're not even e uh, we're not even into the last hour of the stream. It's gone quite slowly. Not that that's a bad thing, of course. I'm. I, I tend to enjoy the trail streams. I'm definitely enjoying it now that we're not stressing out about, like, dying in the, the frozen wasteland. Um... But yeah, so, really excited. I just need to, uh, get into a better, like, schedule. Because I've been... In fairness, I have been improving recently. Every now and then. Sometimes I slip it back into having a terrible sleep schedule. But I'm getting better. Um, because if I get up at a decent time and, you know, I obviously I edit videos. So, you know, it's I have work to do during the day. Um, but, you know, if I try and stick to this into, you know, having a good sleep schedule as best I can, then I will probably have more time to do writing and stuff. On me. Because I remember, I don't know if, I'm, I'm certain I must have mentioned this at some point in the old days, but, um, back in the day, in the summer that I finished Arthur 4, um, because uh, I started Arthur 4 in, like, I think it was April or March. Might have been March. Um, and um, then I finished it in on the 5th of September. So that was, like, five months to write a 14... What was it? 14 chapter book? Um... Once I'd broken up from school, because I'm pretty sure that was my last year of school when I started that, um, I, during the summer, I had a schedule, a writing schedule. I, um, I, I said to myself that I was going to write, um, from three to five every single day. And in fairness, I did, uh, I was pretty good with that. That's I think that's why I finished it so quickly. Like, I was putting out chapters every couple of fucking, like, every week, every... I tell you what, I remember one time, um, I was on holiday. Uh, of all... It was fu it's funny because, you know, obviously a, a holiday meant to relax, but I took my laptop and I had connection to the internet, and I wrote an entire chapter in literally, like, two days. It was... Fucking hilarious. Right, um... I'm gonna keep one of these axes and sell the other. Trading time, let's make some money. Nyom. <laughs> I think we can skip this, if we don't really have anything to sell for it. General, here we go. Silver ingot, silver ingot, silver ingot, silver ingot, silver ingot. And these things as well, what are they? Elderweiss. Nice. Oh, this as well. Oof. Almost didn't sell that very, uh worthwhile thing to sell. Right, 
tools, sell that. Nothing else? Nothing else, right. Boom! Oh, we're actually, uh, gonna win, I think. Yeah, let's go! Did I manage to buy that? I didn't even see. We beat Dobba! We got an item? Mushroom wheat soup! Plus four hunger! Let's fucking go! Wow. That is... That is fucking awesome. Now, do we, uh... I tell you what, um, maybe we save that, um, I swear to god, no way, I'm keeping this in the pocket, if I lose that, I tell you what, um, I actually, I think being in the pocket actually keeps it safe, because I've just realised, like, we fainted multiple times and we still have the god breads. So, um, I think that means that, uh, it's gonna be safe even if we do faint. Although, don't hold me to that. Alright, point 0.5. I probably should have replaced it just then and, uh... And, uh, fucking sold it. Right, um, what did we need for the next phase? Was it, like, 9,000? 8,000? 8,360, right. So, we're gonna... We're going to head back again. Keep farming. Right. Um, oh, we can make an advanced slingshot. You know what? We'll just do that to sell. Why not? That's a thousand and ten encounters. That right, clothing. Thirty six chits for a, a thing that's that uh shit, that low on durability is pretty good in fairness. Right. Let's skip this. Oh, hold on. No, no, we cannot skip this. Not when mushrooms are selling for that much. Oh, and someone bought one. Nice. Oh, and someone bought, uh, my, uh, my screenshot, too. Yeah, so I think... Oh my god, why is that hatchet so small? It's a mini hatchet. Oh god, we <laughs> made it bigger again. <laughs> right. Yeah, so I think that might be a, a good thing to do. Like, but obviously I need to get up earlier if I want to do that. Like, have a schedule where I write from a certain time to a certain time. Literally just an hour, like three to four. That's uh, that's a good. Um, like writing an hour every day, I think that'd be tremendous progress compared to what I usually do. I usually write like maybe once or twice a week, if I'm lucky. Maybe not even that. Right. Let's get moving. Um, no, I'm not going to chop this. Be a bit awkward. Be a waste of durability. <laughs> Excuse me. 
That's 1,012. Bam. Right, I want the meat and the, the hide only. There we go. First ad. Oh yeah, I did uh I did kind of forget to mention that I have actually turned monetization back on for my stream simply because of how popular my videos have been nowadays. Uh, well, over the past couple of days I should say. So yeah. So you guys might be getting ads every now and then. Oh Jesus Christ. That one came from deep below. Fuck me. Can't believe we're actually running basically faster than someone. This has not been a thing for a very long time. Especially not when they, like, trip over for some fucking reason. Right. Bam. Ah. <sighs> No, 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 not chopping that one down. Chestnut. Surprised it didn't auto lock on to the beaver there. Alright, what about this one? God, these are. Uh, actually, I think I can. Yeah, I'll get it through there. Just little strokes. Need to be stacking these. Save some space. Yeah. I do need to be and keeping an eye on our food. Good thing is these clothes obviously are designed for cold, unlike what we were wearing the last time we came through here. Well, the first time, I should say. Um, so our hunger doesn't go down too much. Are they hunting this beaver? Yep, I'll be taking all of this. There wasn't very much. Sorry, Chris Damp9. I'm pretty sure I've seen you around before. that the distant running beaver well the what what's happened what's happening with the Arthur channel is basically just what I said in, what I said in the Q a chat the other day in that I'm probably not going to come back to it until, until I can actually afford to because the thing is like, something I'd not really realized, I guess, is that, like, the monetization wasn't actually the problem. It was a big problem, obviously. I'm just gonna steal these. <gasps> Buenos dias! You gonna chop down this tree, too? Can I steal it from you? Oh. Guess I'll chop it down. From the log, from the log. Um, the monetization wasn't actually the main problem, because the thing is, even if it was monetized, the Arthur videos don't get enough views to warrant me making them right now. 
Like right now, I just I just need videos that will bring in enough money to sustain me as a person, which isn't that much money. She had a face. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention, if I'm honest, but I've just killed a tree then. But um, yeah. So it's not really even the monetization that's uh. That is the issue. It's the fact that just the Arthur videos don't get the views to sustain me right now. So if I'll if I'm ever going um if I'm ever going back to making Arthur content, then it will be when I'm you know when this channel makes enough money so that I can. Hold on, let me let me have a, a look back. See this tree you guys were talking about. Oh my god, it it did. He had like two wide eyes. Yeah, I see. I see now. Oh god. Well then. So I accidentally murdered a tree. Well, not accident. Now, accidentally fondly implies it was an accident. It wasn't an accident. I intended to chop that tree down. But yeah, um, so it's just simply like that the Arthur stuff doesn't make me the money to work on it right now. Just right now I need... A channel and to make videos that are going to sustain me and that's not the Arthur channel right now obviously not to mention that it isn't monetized so I would have to spend time making videos did that item just spawn I swear that just appeared out of nowhere I've never seen an item do that before anyway all right let's make some stuff Hey, Ira. Ah. We're just grinding for the next uh, ferry. We made it through the Ice Kingdom. It was tense. We had to sprint the whole way, but we made it. Now we're just uh, grinding money. But yeah, so the Arthur channel, I... I probably won't return to until this channel is sustaining me enough to the point where to be honest I have con again I have considered just making Arthur videos on this channel instead and the only thing that's holding me back is to that is the fact that I've done so much on the Arthur channel already and Transferring viewers from one channel to another is very fucking difficult. I know that from first-hand experience of trying to do it with most of you guys. Yes, I'm also wanted for murdering a tree because the tree I chopped down a couple of minutes ago looked like it had, like, eyes. Uh, no, use the use the words sticks. There we go. I'm gonna say let's let's make some some bloody cooked meat because I have so much meat clogging up my inventory. And this is decent food as well. But obviously, I do appreciate those of you who uh, come from the Arthur channel who actually do give a lot of the other stuff I do a chance. Because I said, like, when I um, when I started doing, um, like, obscure franchises on this channel, like I did with the Arthur channel, I was saying, like, if you like, if obviously, if you're a fan of Arthur, then, you know you'll probably like a lot of the stuff that I'm doing on this channel because it's similar, similarly themed. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, Harvey, the casual prince. Well, I've, I've technically got four other accounts. Well, actually more than that now, because there's... I started off... I started YouTube in 2015 uh, with my old channel, Players Advent... Player... Eh, God. Players Adventures. I did that for about three years. Then I did my Arthur and the Mini Moist channel, which is the Casual Prince. Then... Uh, there was Casual Productions, which was actually just a rebrand of a of it, like it, it used to be a different channel um, where I uploaded all the speckles clips and got a hundred thousand subscribers. Um, then I started this channel, and I also have Casual Clips, which is where I occasionally upload clips from my videos. So yeah, I got I got plenty of channels, but this is my main one, obviously. <laughs> this is the only one I'm monetized on, and that's what matters. Yeah. Yeah, and like I said, it's a good thing with the COD Zombies stuff because it's a franchise that is both really fun to play and that I enjoy playing um and um and something I can talk about like law wise so it's a win win considering that's what's bringing in the viewers nowadays like right, clothing don't really have anything hey jay it's not a Therizinosaurus, it's a Segnosaurus, but I know which one you're on about. There's, um, there are multiple different variations of it. Um, it's like Segnosaurus Strike or Segnosaurus Slap or stuff like that. Ah. Skip the rest, I need the general round now. There we go. Silver ingot, silver ingot, silver ingot. Oh, someone's actually buying these. Can I move this one along a little bit? No. Come on. Oh, someone bought it. Lovely. Food. I don't think there's anything else, actually. I think we can back out now. Right, 5,700. How? Where are they coming from? Oh yeah, most, if Segnosaurus was an actual dinosaur, then it would be a fire type, yeah, because it's a Therizinosaur. That's so cool. Again, it, it really does, um... It really is really nice, like, making these videos, because not only do I get to teach other people, like, fellow fans about stuff, some of the stuff that, like, I have found out by, like, starting up the discords and stuff, even I didn't know about, primarily in Dinosaur King, because I am not, uh, like, for once, I'm not, like, the major, like, the most knowledgeable person on the subject. Pardon me, because for a lot of other, um, for a lot of other franchises, I'm very much in the know. Um, I know like a fuck ton about whatever franchise it is I happen to be talking about, but Dinosaur King is probably the one that there are the most other people who know as much, if not more, as I do. Oh yeah, um, by the, by the way, uh, you'll love this, Jay. Um... I got a comment today on the video I made, um, talking about why the D-Team don't use other dinosaurs in their fights and so on. Um, and, um, and it was, I thought it was going to be a, a nice break considering, um, most of uh, the comments I've been getting nowadays, uh, I say nowadays, like it's been going on for ages. Over the past, like, 
week or so have been on the COD Zombies videos because they've been so popular, so it's nice to see some other comments as well. However, this comment w gave me even more brain rot than most of the comments I've been getting on the COD Zombies videos, because... Let me, let me read it out. Um... So, uh, I... I was going to say, I won't say their name, uh, let's just say that their username begins with A and ends, uh, ends? Their username begins with A and ends with Aaron Payne 1053 Um, and Aaron's, uh, comment was, uh, the pre-capture dinosaurs get summoned from their respective cards at the beginning of each episode. Oh. Are they hunting this beaver? I'm gonna... I'm gonna steal. Thank you. <laughs> um... The pre-capture di- this was his comment. The pre-capture dinosaurs get summoned from the respective cards at the beginning of each episode. Um... <laughs> when the card comes into contact with the appropriate element. Water dinosaurs get summoned when their card hits water. Fire dinosaurs when their card heats up, comes into contact with flames, etc. But in literally... Almost uh, every episode of season one, the stones aren't necessary. The stones are just an easy to carry, concentrated form of their elements. So, most of that. Um... Oh, yeah. Tr trust me, Jay. You're about to see that in force. We get a nice big zoom. You're about to see that in force, right? Um, so, most of that is like fairly fine to say, like, and um, logical, but it's his last, I, I, I mean, I'm assuming it's a he, Aaron is a male name, I shouldn't really assume nowadays, but, um, Aaron, Aaron's last paragraph is what, um, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal that, <laughs> um, Aaron's last paragraph is what started to give me brain rot, and this was just the start, this makes it confusing, as to how one might come to the conclusion that the stone is the souls and necessary for summoning a dinosaur at all. Now, those of you who are not familiar with Dinosaur King may not obviously know this, but it has been confirmed on screen that the stones the the stone tablets contain the souls of the dinosaurs so i so i just replied i was just like oh this is this, i just thought oh this is just going to be another like 5 year old who like is just fucking incompetent <laughs> You guys should know by now, that's, that's what, you've got to be, uh, you've got to be prepared for when I do the loud mic. Um, but no, it has been, it was confirmed on, w with on-screen dialogue, um, that the stone tablets, uh, house the souls of the dinosaurs, that is, that is canon to Dinosaur King, right? You with me so far? So, I, w I was just like, I was a bit weirded out because, like, this this dude, like, his, his sentences were actually, you know... <clears throat> on me. He had, like, good English, so, you know, I was like, well, clearly this isn't like a five-year-old. So, I, I just, I just replied... The stones are the souls that has literally been confirmed on screen. And I thought, yeah, I genuinely thought, you know, just put that there and that'd be the end of it. Oh, sweet summer child, how wrong I was. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh. So, this guy. Uh, go, goes on to apply. Um, and it was literally his first sentence that began to increase the brain rot. The first sentence of his reply. 
pretending that is the case, then how do you explain the wild dinosaurs being summoned by their card becoming exposed to its respective element? Now, it was the fact that he said the words, pretending this is the case. And I basically just ignored everything else he said at that point. Because he said, pretending this is the case. So I literally wrote, what the hell are you talking about? Pretending this is the case. It is the case. Season 2, episode 30, the very last episode of the show, it is confirmed on screen with dialogue that the stone tablets house the souls of the dinosaurs. And unless you were a fucking idiot, you would have been able to figure, out, figure that out by default anyway, like earlier on in the series, because it's painfully obvious. Something's... Something in my inventory wasn't liking getting jostled around just then. Um, but anyway, uh, then he replied, um, so you're telling me the wild dinosaurs are soulless then? And what makes this even funnier is that in the video, I actually provided an explanation as to, like, the connection between, um, the wild dinosaurs, like, not being summoned by the cards. Um. Because it's, like, the physical... The physical body is in the card, whilst the, uh... Whilst the souls are in the stones, and summoning them is basically connecting the two. Um. And... Then he said... I'd like to hear how you retcon your statements. Then he proceeded to make fun of my speech impediment. Which I have- which I've had a lot of recently, so I'm used to it, but... And then I just put- I have nothing more to say to some idiot who insults people's speech impediments, and who's too brain-dead to actually watch the show. And then he had the audacity to say, as long as you can admit you have no counter-argument or valid reasoning. Like, I don't understand this man. He is literally just choosing to ignore a canon piece of information and just saying, yeah, you have no explanation. Like, it, I'm giving him a canon explanation that is canon and he's just fucking ignoring it. And then he, then he, he began to think he was funny. Um... And he said, it sucks too. I wanted to like the channel, and since I won't, that's what, 20% of all five of your viewers gone? Like, <laughs> motherfucker was commenting that I had five viewers on a video that had five and a half thousand views. <laughs> like, I can't fathom what is going on in this dude's head. Ah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I just thought you guys would like to. I'm just. I'm sure you guys would find that funny. So, in return for being pointlessly brain dead and needlessly cruel, his idiocy is now on the internet for everyone to see. His coolness in. Stupidity is archived now. And we had a laugh about it, so... Serves the fucker right. Right. Anyway. Uh, let's... Oh, hold on. Oh, make one of these first. See, gives the good money. We're getting close-ish. We've still got a ways to go yet. A couple of thousand. But we'll... we'll get there. Yeah, like, the, cause the thing is, right, I can... I can handle people, like... Um... I can handle people, like, not 
well, I can't handle it usually. <laughs> I'll be honest, like, it, it drives me up the pissing wall because I've had so many people for that, like, on that video, uh, talking about why the D team don't use other dinosaurs. And I, for that video, provided a, a perfectly logical explanation that, you know, it didn't have any, any holes in the logic and it, it was a perfectly good explanation. And for no apparent reason, people decided to try and pick random fucking holes in it that didn't even make sense. But what I can't stand even more than that is, like, that. I Like, I don't understand. It doesn't compute in my head how you can just choose to ignore something that's canon. Because the thing is, a lot of the stuff I talk about in Dinosaur King can be taken with a grain of salt. Like, I've made a lot of theories on Dinosaur King, like why Stratosaurus lost to Ceratosaurus, um, and... I'm trying to think of an example now. Another example. Um, I guess you could throw... You could throw in some of the stuff I said in the why the D-team don't use other dinosaurs, because I posited some theories as well as giving, like, a concrete answer to that question. But, I don't, like, you you can't argue with something that's canon. You, you just can't. If something is canon, it's canon. Yeah. This is just something you have to deal with. It's just... I don't think I've ever had to deal with something like that. Like, I don't genuinely think I have ever, uh, like, come into contact with, um... I don't think I've ever had, like, a commenter who has genuinely, genuinely been so fucking stupid that they are just ignoring a literal canon detail. Like, I genuinely don't think that's ever happened. It's wild. Oh, God. Oh, nice, Mariel. <laughs> yeah, do, we do love... Uh, I do love me and uh, people who ignore canon. Yeah, they're the best fans. Um... Yeah, let's make a... let's make a log. And then we can make... Uh... Roasted apple, or... Roasted chestnut. Like I said, just in case the next area has more cold. Again, I don't think it will, but just in case. Yeah, it was just like such a shock to my fucking system. Like, I, I, I can't stand like stupidity. Oh no, that that's like, um, like that's it's not really what I mean. Like, it's a particular type of stupidity. It's like a combination of stupidity, arrogance, and stubbornness. But, like, I, I can't... Yeah, there's a first time for everything, apparently so, Marathon. Like, I can't... This, this isn't even stupidity. This is, like, brain death. This is being genuinely brain dead. Like, I can't... I can't fathom that that person's mind is working correctly to just ignore the fact that I, I literally... I, I told him that it's canon, and he just decided to ignore that. Yeah, exactly, Fitz. Like... And also, at the same time, like, if you want, like... E either he's just ignor- because cl clearly, either he's just a fucking idiot, or he hasn't actually watched season two. And it's like, 
if you're gonna argue with someone about something, you should probably watch the thing that you're arguing with them about. But I know that a lot of people don't have the the mental uh, intelligence for that. A lot of people are keyboard warriors, as we know. Yeah. Oh, we're starting off with a general round. Let's go. More silver ingots to sell. Haha, <laughs> 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 mine's selling for more, bitch. Oh, crap. Yeah. I got half price on that, damn it. So I threw it in the shredder. How much did that sound for? Hundred... Nah, I'll keep it. We don't sell food. I right, clothing, I have anything. Tools! Slap that there. Hello, Giga. Well, we were just at the tail end of a conversation, so I I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if you know you Welcome weren't really understanding what we were talking about. We were talking about stupid commenters, basically, and brain dead people ignoring canon information about franchises. And cool very much. And cool very much, right. Um, so that was 1017 Fungus Shiny Encounters. This is 1018. Still not shiny. I'm shiny hunting Fungus while we're playing this game, so that's why I can un unplug my DS now. It's charged up. Right. Let's get a move on. How's our money looking now? 6,500. We're getting close. I think we'll be able to afford the next ferry by the end of the stream. Do 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 do. But yeah, like, again, people who were uneducated. Like, I'm fine with that. Like, you know, you can just tell them about what they're misunderstanding or missing information about. And then they're more intelligent and have more knowledge. And then, you know, Bob's your uncle. But people who you tell the answer to and it is the correct answer, it is the canon answer. And they just go, nah. Like, <laughs> what are you meant to do with, with those kind of people? They, they can't be saved. And to be honest, like, on top of being stupid, he clearly wasn't the nicest bloke. You know, I have nothing kind or remorseful to... to I have no remorse for anyone who makes fun of my speech impediment. Anyway, we've... <coughs> God. We've dragged this down into negative vibes too much. Let's talk about something positive. Um, like I mentioned, i got uh, a very funny... Uh, a very funny video coming out tomorrow. It's, um... It's, uh... Like I said, it's a video, um... It's a video, um... Of, it's a video j that is actually just taken from uh, my stream last week uh, on COD Zombies because uh, I died on Zombies. I just tried to stack those and then forgot I don't have the thing that allows me to stack them. Um, 
I died on COD Zombies about like 20 minutes before I had to end the stream. And I didn't want to end the stream early, but I didn't want to start a map that was going to like last me all night. So I decided to play a short little custom map. Um, and uh, it was a remake of actually a really good custom map uh, that was on World at War Zombies. But it was the worst remake, and honestly, the worst custom map I've ever played. So if you wanna, um, if you wanna watch me getting uh, pissed off about uh, playing a terrible map on Zombies, then look out for the upload tomorrow. And, and the 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 thing is, like, that's actually what a lot of streamers do. Like people who are streamers, like, more than they are... I'll take that. <laughs> People who are streamers more than they are, like, video makers, like, YouTubers, because there is a difference, obviously. Like, in my mind, YouTubers are people that make videos primarily. Like, that's their main source of income. I'll be taking all of that, too. <laughs> um, they're doing their, their, my hunting for me. Like, YouTubers are people that primarily make videos, and streamers are people that majority stream. Um... And I'm sort of both, but I'm I'm... I'd primarily say I'm a YouTuber. Like, I get most of my income from making videos, obviously. Because donations is not some... Because I don't do it on Twitch, which means I get, like, less, um... I get less... That, well, not I get less money, but there's less opportunities for me to make money because Twitch has like bits and subs and raids and all that stuff and YouTube only has donations. And I don't even use the built-in donations thing, as you guys know, because it takes a portion of that. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, if you're ever um, looking to donate for any reason, it's never required, but always appreciated. Use the link in the description because that means I get 100% of the money that you give me. So you're not paying YouTube because, you know, let's be honest, I think YouTube has got enough money as it is. You're paying me. So if you, if ever you want to donate, um, if ever you want to donate, then, uh, go go down to the description, click on the link, you can donate anything from, like, 50p to, like, however much you want to give me, um, again, it's never required, ever, I appreciate you guys just being here, but it is always appreciated if you want to. Oh, really, Martha? Okay, well, one, um, if you're getting started off, um, with the zombies storyline, um, Again, um, first off, just turn up to my streams on Saturday because I'm always happy to, um, to talk about the storyline on stream. Like, you can literally ask me anything you want about the COD Zombies storyline and I will answer it because I'm, I'm very aware of the storyline. Um, oh wow, there's some, some chestnuts over here. Um, but, uh... Yeah, um, you should go, as a, a good starting point, you you could go and watch the video I made on, um, all of the eye colours of the zombies. Because that, I'd say, is a, a decent starting point. I think that will sort of, um, get you, uh, give you some idea about some of the basics. But like I said, I'll be absolutely happy to, uh, tell you anything you want to know because you guys know i'm always happy to talk about uh zombie storyline or any storyline really as long as i actually know what it is the fuck i'm talking about i don't know if that was english or not but you know what i mean right um let's make one of these. It's a good job we had one of those left over. 
Ah, excuse me. Yeah, excuse me. Alright. Uh, what are we missing? Ah! Uh, one more stick. No, that's not a stick. This is a stick. Bam. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because his destination lied on the other side? Perhaps? Is that the reason? <laughs> Bam. Okay, now we don't have any more sticks. Uh, we can make another hatchet, though. Again, I'm gonna say I will be. I'll, I'll be proud of us. Forget because I don't think I'm gonna. Um, um, I don't think I'm gonna be getting like all of the all of like these upgrades. Like a bunch of people have had these upgrades for ages. Like we. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. We've been seeing people selling elite lumberjack axes. Like that this thing looks like a fucking battle axe. Um and I've just been using regular hatchets. So I'll be proud of us for like getting to the end of the trail with subpar gear. We didn't know we didn't need no fucking amazing gear to get to the end of the trail. We got to the end of the trail with Pure determination. <laughs> yes, yeah, not knock knock. It's the chicken. I get it. Yeah, I'm gonna say if you, if you can make it, then it, it's great. If not, I don't. It, it's fine. You each have your own lives, and I each uh, I appreciate. Each of you making time in your own lives to come watch this idiot and support him in his dream of becoming a YouTuber. Not as far as I know, Fitz. I don't think so. If there was, it'd probably be an um, explorer. Um... I mean, it'd probably just be a, it'd be more of an upgrade to make, um, stuff lighter, wouldn't it? Ultimate pack. Ah, that's what I've seen everyone, that's what I've seen everyone, uh, using. God, that feet, that has a nail. God. Again, there's so many upgrades we haven't gotten. And again, in fairness, if I really wanted them, I could go back and grind. But all I want is to get to the end of the trail. That has been our journey. And again, we, like, we haven't even done anything in Eden Falls. Like, that was a thing. That was the initial journey, Eden Falls. And we get there, and there's no town. Because, and I think that's a massive ripoff. Because, like, back in the olden days... The town was there, but it's like now you have to build your own town, and I think that's a massive ripoff. If if it was, I'd much prefer it if they'd have done it. If you got to Eden Falls and there was like, it, it wasn't you weren't building a town with other people, you were building a town with NPCs. Like there were other characters that you could get to know, and you could like do quests for them and go get stuff for them on the trail. Yeah. All right. Again, I'm hoping the ancient forest won't be that cold. Trading time. Tools go first. Oh, someone bought it. That's what we like to see. Uh, 
And general. Only got one silver ingot today. Oh, and also, um... Marathon, I'll be doing, uh... The, the next video I make after the one tomorrow is, um... Is the sort of pilot episode of a series in which I'm going to be going basically map by map and talking about uh, the story of each map. So that would be um, a good series for you to watch if you want to get into the, si into the story of Cod Zombies. Alright. Made 500 there. Only around... 1,500 more to go. It's not that much. Alright. Onwards. You've got no chance, says Igor. God, anyone remember that film, Igor, from like, what was it, like the mid-2000s? That game is like fuck all. That was one of the. That was definitely one of those weird films from the sort of era when like anything that could get made got made. Plus, you probably wouldn't see it being made nowadays because people would say it'd be offensive to hunchback people. Like it was. It was a weird film. Like. You definitely couldn't make something like that nowadays. A very, quite a creative film, though. A dystopian, like, a, a fucking, um, I mean, it didn't really make a lot of sense, in fairness. Um, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, Igor was a film, um, it was, like, set in a dystopian world where, like, in order to survive I it, it don't it doesn't really make much sense now that I actually think about it but um like the people apparently had to make evil inventions to survive I don't know how that made them survive but it was like these storm clouds arrived so that no one could grow food I don't know where the whole evil inventions thing fits into it it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me um But, um, apparently, like, that's what happened. It's the story of, uh, this, this guy, and he's, he's an Igor, which is, like, a hunchback person who assists, like, the, the, the big inventors. And as a, an Igor, he's, like, not allowed to invent, basically. It's sort of an, it's sort of like a slavery allegory, now that I really think about it. It's a, it's a... Really, when you think about it, it is, like, a, a, a really messed up film. Um, but it's like, he, he creates a monster, and then one of his inventions that he made, who is an idiot, like, accidentally brainwashes his invention to not be a monster and be, like, an actress. And then he starts falling in love with the monster it's got a happy ending but it's just a very it's just a very weird film it's definitely one of those like weird films from back in the day um not to mention there's a, a spoilers for igor 2008 i want to say but it's like um the, the the plot twist is that, like, the storm clouds that made the place unlivable were created, like, by the mayor. And it's, like, there's this tower that's constantly shooting, um... And constantly shooting, like, laser beams up into the sky to, like, make sure that those clouds never go away. And I'm like, did no one, like, think... Why is that tower doing that? I guess the mayor could have easily made up some bullshit excuse. Like, it's 
keeping the clouds from getting any worse or something like that, and, you know, no one would have a reason to question it. But I don't see, like, why, why would you do that? Why would you create a bunch of, like, clouds to make the place you lived in unlivable? Maybe it was just to, for him to get into power, but, like, that just seems really weird. <laughs> It just seems, like, completely whack. Fucking stuff stop falling out my inventory. Yeah, I was gonna say, that was back in the day when 3D animation was new. Fairness, it doesn't look that bad. Yeah, I've never really thought about... I haven't really thought about that movie properly in years, but it is, like, 100% like a, a metaphor for slavery. Like, in... There, there was even a... There was even a part of that movie where there was a, a thing called an eagle recycling shoot. Where, like, the inventors would throw their ego as if uh, they, like, didn't... If they weren't, like, obedient. And it led to them getting, like, killed. It literally led to, like, a grinder. It was, like, where they throwed... Where they throwed? That was terrible English. Um, I need to keep an eye on my hunger. Where they, uh, threw, like, all the broken down body parts and stuff that they... They were using, um... For their... For their monsters. Yeah. Right, I think we'll... We'll get to the next... Oh, can I steal? Can I steal? Can I steal? Oh, I wasn't close enough to steal. I think I just accidentally ate that chestnut. That's annoying. I think I double-clicked on it by accident. But yeah, like, I've never really, th I've never, th I haven't thought about that movie in years, but there is a hundred percent, like, a metaphor for slavery. This does a happy ending. Because a lot of things don't. Honestly, like, I want to talk about this, um, briefly, but I... I don't understand, um, like, you can like whatever you like in terms of entertainment and stuff, but I can't really understand, um, the perspective of people who watch, like, regular dramas. Like, dramas that don't, that are, like, majority, like, horrible shit, and not a lot of funny shit. Um... Yeah, of course I know that game. Who doesn't know that game, Marielle? I, mean, I remember I, I made a point that it should have gotten a sequel a while back, but it'd be very difficult to give a game like that a sequel because um, it's a multiple-choice ending game. So in order to give it a sequel, you'd have to tell players that one of the endings is canon. Yeah, I've never played it myself, but... Um, I'd... I'd like to. And again, I don't really... Um... I don't really have time to play a game like that in my free time. So I'd want to play it on stream, but I think it's a bit too old of a game to play on stream. And plus, I sort of know everything that happens in it, so... <laughs> it's funny that I was just saying that and then you asked the question, but yeah, so I probably won't be playing that on the channel. But, it's a fucking fantastic game, don't get me wrong. And, one of these, is this the best quality one we have? Yes. 
Bam. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong in fairness. Oh, yeah, well, that's, that's a decent point. Right, well, we do need to make another hatchet uh, just to use, not to sell. Luckily, we can make two. We'll sell this one, which is probably going to be the better one. And then I'll use this one. Oh, we can make a... Uh, make another one. Actually, hold on. Okay, how many... How many can we make? We can make one more. Okay, I'm not going to make that one then. I'm going to sell both of these. And then I'm going to use that last bit of durability. Just so we're not carrying around a useless one durability hatchet. Alright, trading time. But yeah, yeah, that's what we're saying. Um, I, like, again, you can like whatever you like. I'm not saying, like, I'm not saying dramas are bad. But I can't really understand the logic um, of watching dramas where, like, in fairness, some dramas are, like... They have an equal balance of, like, sort of serious stuff and funny stuff. Like, um, like Suits, for instance. The the drama about lawyers with Harvey Specter and stuff. I've watched so many clips from that, and that seems like a great show. Like, that'd be something that I'd watch. Um, oh, and these are worth double, yes. Silver ingots. Um... And we don't have anything else to sell, I don't think. But, like, I can't really... I can't really get behind people watching dramas that are, um... Like, just straight horrible shit. Like... Like, fucking Shameless, for instance. Like, I've seen so many clips, and I know that a lot of memes come from that show, but it's like... I know how much horrible shit is in that show, and it's like, I don't, I mean, it, I guess some people would just call me a pussy, but like, my perspective of it is that the world is horrible enough, like, by default, I don't need to watch something to remind me that the world is horrible. Like that's why I, that's why I I don't watch stuff like that because if I'm gonna watch something it's it's gonna be something to you know it's gonna be escapism it's gonna be something to get me out of the modern day uh, stuff. Oh. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do one more length of the trail and then we're gonna call it a day. Yes, Horizon Zero Dawn, that is definitely, uh, some I tell you what, I don't know, is it on PS5 as well? Because I remember it was on PS4, is it on PS5 as well? Because if so, that might be something I play. Because, um, the Horizon series was something that I thought looked really, really interesting, and I couldn't play it, um... It's on PS5, okay. Well, that may give me another thing to play on PS5 then. I'll do some investigating to make sure it's a game, like... I know, I don't really know much about what kind of game it is. I, I'm, I'm... I sort of have the feel that it's like an open world game. But it's like, mechanized creatures alongside, like, humans. And I think it looks like a really, really, really creative game. So I, I definitely think playing it would be a good thing. It definitely looks like something I'd be into setting-wise. But I just want to do some further research to make sure that it's a game that I'll actually enjoy. Because you guys know I don't 
if it's like a start a different style of game that I don't usually play, I wouldn't really want to do a series on it because you know I don't really like to play games that I don't like in the style that I don't enjoy. Because like people have recommended me games before that aren't necessarily bad games, they're just games that I don't really like the style of. Made by Dutch artists, that's awesome. Fantastic representation. Isn't there like a collection of them though? Like where it's both of them that's on PS5? I don't know, I'll have to do some investigation. Again, like I said, if it, if the first one is on PS4, then again, I'm pretty sure both of them are on PC now, anyway. Oh, oh God. There we go. Who? <laughs> Oh yeah, don't worry, Ira, I'm fine. It's not, it's not really even a cop, it's just, um... Yeah. Yeah, it's not really even a cop, it's just, uh... <coughs> I don't know what it is. Ah. Uh, it's not, it's not a proper cough, don't worry, I'm, I'm good. But yeah, I'm gonna say I'm I'm like as like I've told you guys I'm getting a I'm getting a PS5 for God of War Ragnarok specifically, but I'm certain there are other things that I'm thinking of or that I'm not thinking of. Sorry, that uh, that I'll definitely be wanting to play on PS4 on PS5. Sorry. Make another silver ingot already. Actually, we yeah, we're gonna say we ought to do this because um they're very lightweight. It makes no sense, but yeah. So I don't know. I mean, if I can get them on PS5, I'll get them on PS5 because. I think I've talked about this before, but, um, I would rather have everything on PC, but as a YouTuber, it's always preferable for me to get stuff on console when I can. Because I need the storage space on my computer for videos. So that's why I always need to sort of be on console when I can. And this will be a first for me as well because, um... I don't think so, Marielle. I think PS4 is a bit, like, PlayStation are a bit, like, shitty when it comes to stuff like that. I do not need to be picking up any more of these sticks. Um, like... Xbox let you do that like I'm pretty sure like an Xbox 360 game is backwards compatible with like an Xbox Series S Or Series X whichever the fucking one it is. I don't fucking know um But um, I don't think it works that way on PlayStation. I'm pretty sure you've got to have like special memberships or Whatever to play PS4 games on PS5. 
Which doesn't really bother me because I don't have any PS4 uh, games because I don't own a PS4. Oh, fuck right off. I guess we couldn't have a stream without... I'm pretty sure it did happen before anyway. But I was going to say, I'm pretty sure we we can't have a stream without the pissing... Uh... Madness to you too. Need that before it falls out my inventory. Stop it. Stop it. Right, let me just see. 0.6. Okay, we'll, we'll replace it then. Oh, can I grab that? Can I grab that? No. Nah. Yeah, but this, like I was saying, this will be a first for me because I've always been an Xbox player. Although, in fairness, I did... Um, because I, I started with a DS, then... Maybe I'm not. I'm just having this, this sort of existential gaming, like, crisis. Now, this existential... Not even crisis, like, realization that... Because I was saying, like, oh, yeah, I've always been an Xbox player. But actually, I don't think I have. I think it was originally the other way around because I started... I started off... The first console was a DS. That I think that was the first thing that I ever had in terms of a gaming console. I mean, you can count that, right? It, it's handheld, but it it's, still counts, right? Um, but I think the first, um, the first actual gaming console I had was a PlayStation 2. And I also had a play, uh, a PlayStation Portable, a PSP. And then I got a Wii, and then I got a 360, and then I got a 1. So... Maybe I'm not. I've just... Because I was saying, like, oh, this will be a first for me because it's like I've always been an Xbox player. But now that I actually think about it, I haven't been. Back in the day, I used to be a PlayStation player. I play... I play stuff on the PSP and I... I, I was more of a Nintendo person and a, a Sony player than anything. How weird. Never realized that about myself, but I'm, I guess, I guess in, in, in that way, this is me returning to my roots then. When I get a PlayStation 5, I'll be returning to the roots, my roots as a gamer. All right, let's see what we can craft. We'll do trading time and then we'll end off the stream. Um, use the shitter sticks. Honestly, Ira, you're not wrong. Honestly, like, I, I, I've I, enjoyed um, having a good PC. Cause it, and this PC is, like, I think just over... When did I get I got it at the... It'll be two years old, this PC, this August. But, like, just playing on PC and having my games just there, ready for me. It's just, it's not even, like, quality. It's just convenience, if anything. Not to mention, obviously, there are a lot of PC-exclusive games, but even games that I've, like, re-bought, which aren't that many, in fairness, but, like, I think Black Ops 3 is one of the only ones, but just having Black Ops 3 there, just, like two clicks and I open it up, like, it's, it's convenient, and I like that, but again, I can't, as a YouTuber, I can't have all my games on PC because I need the storage for videos. Yeah, I guess it, I guess it sort of depends, I mean, I've not had a look, um, 
I like I think for God of War, like for the PC port, they had to do some downgrading. So I think PlayStation might have been better, like better graphics for God of War. Um, but um, I definitely think uh, PC is better than the PC version of uh, Black Ops 3 is definitely better. A lot smoother. A lot nicer. Um, but you would expect that. But I think, um... Like, PC in comparison to next gen, I think it's a bit of a... It's difficult to decide between those two. Like, I guess we'll have to see, like, when God of War Ragnarok eventually gets a PC port. Like, whether it looks as good on PC. And I don't think it will. I don't think it can, because I don't think... Um... I don't think, generally, it can look as good on PC. Because I genuinely think that, um... I mean, in fairness... Some PCs are better. Like, the top of the top end of... Uh, PCs are probably... Actually, I don't know. I think, I think next-gen are better. Logically, I think next-gen are better because PCs... I mean, obviously, you can get gaming PCs, which are just built for, um, for gaming, obviously. But, um... No, we can't make that under roasted apple. It's not really worth wasting stuff on making a stone axe either. Like clothing. Still getting 39 for that. It's half decent. Yeah, ag again, it just depends on specs nowadays. And there's the whole thing, um, there's the whole thing with, um, with, like, PC as well, in the, um, and this is why, like, back in the day, I would always say that I prefer, um, oh, someone bought my axe, lovely. I would always say back in the day that I preferred, um, console, and that was specifically for the reason that if you buy a console, you know that it's going to be able to run the games. Like, if you get a PC, like, unless you know exactly what the specs are, and back in the day I did not, like, really heavily pay attention to the specs of the PCs that I had and bought and stuff like that. Oh, wow, I think we're going to win this trading time. Let's go. End it with a reward. What are we gonna get? Ten almanac points, I'll take that. Yeah, but like, I, cause... Yeah, like... Unless you know, unless you have like a good knowledge of PC specs and stuff, which in fairness, not everyone does. Like, if you ask me, I couldn't even tell you what the specs of my PC are. Um, but... Like, if you buy a console, it's like, that console is built for gaming, and, you know, they make, ga they make games specifically for that console, and you know that if you buy a console, you'll be able to play the games that are made for that console, no questions asked. Then again, that's not always the case, because the worst example of, I'd say, a game being put on a console that it couldn't run on is... For me, at least, uh, that I've played, because I know there are way worse examples, is, um, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, because that was the last good, it uh, good iteration of COD Zombies, and that runs awfully on Xbox One, because I have an Xbox One copy, and it does not run well. 
Because the thing is, I own almost every COD Zombies game, well, every good one, on Xbox. I own Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 on 360, and they're backwards compatible with Xbox One. I have Black Ops 3 on Xbox One. I have Black Ops 4 on Xbox One, and I have Cold War on Xbox One. If and when I get the money to spare, like when I can afford to do it, I think I'm just going to rebuy all of the games on, um, on Steam. Because I, I want, well, maybe I won't. I think I'll buy, I won't buy Black Ops 2 again, and I won't buy Black Ops 4 again, I don't think. Because Black Ops 2 I've bought all the DLC for, and Black Ops 4 I bought the season pass version of the game. So I think that'd just be a waste. I don't care enough about those to buy them again. I think I'd buy Black Ops 1 on PC because I didn't buy that game with any of the DLC. Ugh. No, I did... I, the thing is, when Cyberpunk came out, because it was that... It was a Christmas when it came out. I was going to get it as a Christmas present. And my mum literally looked online and saw reviews for it and convinced me not to buy it. And obviously, we know how it turned out, so I'm kind of glad I didn't. Um, but it's the, it's the same with, like, isn't Jedi Survivor on last gen as well? Like, isn't Jedi Survivor on Xbox One? Like, how in the fuck did they expect that to run on... Xbox One. Like, I didn't have a lot of problems with it, but apparently so many people did. And I find that funny all of the time, because you guys remember, I streamed Jedi Survivor when it first came out, and I didn't have, like, well, I did have one problem with it. One problem that I can remember is during the chase with Bode, it actually crashed repeatedly, because... It was on a specific bit where it, like, couldn't run on high graphics. So I had to turn down the graphics. But it's like, how the fuck do you expect putting that on last gen? Like, how do you expect it to run? Like, I don't think... Like, are they still making game? I don't think they're still making... I don't think they're still putting games on last gen. But if they are, then they need to stop. Because... It's just not possible anymore. You can't put games nowadays that are being made presently on Xbox One and PS4 because they just can't handle it. But, yeah. I'm definitely, when I can... Yeah, I'm gonna say that. I, I think a few companies still do it, but it's quite rare nowadays. But at my earliest convenience, I'm buying Cold War again on computer, I'm, and I'm probably going to buy Black Ops 1 again on computer. Everything else is probably fine. It's just awkward to do, like, videos on and, and stuff. Then again, it does offer me greater editing fluidity. Because I record my face cam and the game instead of both in one video. Then again, that takes up more storage, so there's pros and cons. But anyway, I could go on chatting forever, but that is going to be it for this stream. I'm sure we'll... If you guys want me to keep talking about stuff like this on the Minecraft stream on Friday, then I absolutely will, because talking about gaming is fun, and it's not really something we do a lot, I think. Um, and it's fun to talk about uh, games nowadays. Oh, thanks, Marielle. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in, as per usual. I love you all. Um, what are we at chits-wise? We're, like, literally 600 chits away? Ye uh, no, 300 chits away. Literally, like, one more trading time and we'll be able to afford it. And then we're into the Ancient Forest. Which looks like it has a bunch of long bits to it. And I'm just really hoping that it's not a cold area. Logically, I don't think it'd make sense for it to be another cold area after the Ice Kingdom, but the only reason I'm thinking that is because we had, back here, we had, I'm gonna say we had more than three, we had one, 
We had the Sunny Savannah, Dead Man Dunes, Green Maze, and Lava Mountain as hot areas. So I was assuming we'd have like three or four cold areas, but hopefully we're only going to have two. But yeah, um... Yeah, that was one one more thing I want to mention. Isn't it like the whole thing is that you can't get, like, PC parts nowadays? They're all, like, sold out. Although I'm pretty sure all of the, like, a bunch of consoles are sold out nowadays anyway. Like, you can't even get a PS5 anymore. Um, but anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Join me on Friday for more Minecraft, on Saturday for more COD Zombies where we're going to be playing Kino de Toten, the theatre map, one of the quite, quite famous maps in Zombies. Not one of the most exciting, but one of the most iconic maps. Thank you, Marathon. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, join me on Friday for more Minecraft, on Saturday for more COD Zombies, and next Wednesday for more of this. So thanks a lot for watching everyone, and I will see you on another video or stream very, very soon. Goodbye everyone. Thanks for stopping by.